We took out a legal case against the Prime Minister slash Minister of um, Finance and he was found guilty of being a serial violator of the uh, Constitution and the Finance and Audit Reform Act. He was found to have spent illegally approximately $1.5 billion. Almost every year he gives supplementary um, budgets to averaging about 40% of what was approved. So it's a joke, it's a mockery what he's doing today. He's going to present a bogus budget and then afterwards come spend monies as he wishes and then try to see how he can cover it up, like what he's going to do right now. So we felt that it's important that they are, we're not going to sit down and give any kind of credence to what the Prime Minister has, um, um, he's doing right now in the presentation of his bogus budget. Sir, but aren't those phantom arguments in so far as we know there's a curiosity in the UDP constitution where the leader, if he's prime minister, remains leader until he demits office as prime minister, number one. Number two, we know that appropriations, the man behind you, Mr. Musa, as minister of finance, passed many supplementary appropriations. It is a norm, a very bad one, in the running of governments. Well, first of all, um, I don't know what kind of phantom argument you're talking about because the UDP constitution cannot trump the Belizean constitution. The Belizean constitution is the supreme um, law of the land. Let's start off with that. Secondly, um, whether it was being doing, uh, whether it was done before and it continues to be done today, it is wrong then, it was wrong now. The prime minister was elected on a position, illegal. The, the prime minister was elected on a platform of transparency and accountability and ending corruption. And today we have the most corrupt government that and a prime minister that continues to abuse the constitution at will. And that has to come to an end. We cannot continue to govern the way we have been doing before. And that is the point that we're making today. Sir, no, you all, you plan to return for the debate <laughs> of the no confidence motion. We see today in the house, we see an appearance from the Orange Walk North representative. <laughs> Do you think this is attributable to the fact that a no confidence motion is being tabled? I mean, if I were him, I, I would have been ashamed to show my face um, in the house when he had been missing um, house meeting after house meeting after house meeting. And to add salt to the wound, I noticed that now he's put to the back bench where he belongs. And the next um, seat he's going to take is outside of the house when they call the elections.